Hello, my name is John Ancestor, and today I'm going to be talking about standardized tests to improve education in America. Going to school in America is a must for most kids. With that comes homework, speeches, quizzes, and most importantly, tests. Tests are a big part of school. It shows the mastery of a subject that you and your class have gone over. Tests over subjects you learn in class are very easy compared to standardized tests. If you're anything like me, I get tense and very nervous the day of the test. The tests change who I am for the whole day. Standardized tests have been a part of American education since the mid-1800s. Their use of skyrocketed after 2002's No Child Left Behind Act, NCLB, mandated annual testing in all 50 states, says ProCon.org. Standardized tests in America should be stopped because they cause severe stress in younger students, obsession with testing robs children of their childhoods, and excessive testing may teach children to be good at taking tests rather than preparing them for the real adult lives. Stress is a high schooler is like no other. Having constant drama, regular life influences, and just trying to get into college to start your life in general. As a high schooler, I always joked around saying I'm 18 with the stress of a 40 to 5 year old. As a young man, I have a lot of pressure on my shoulders to be a successful citizen in this country. This comes with getting a job, going to college, and all around growing up. These are all great, but but one that one catch is having to take tests to prove what I learned. In high school, not even college, you have to take all kinds of tests to even apply to certain schools. But according to education researcher Gregory J. Zizek, anecdotes abandon illustrating how testing produced gripping anxiety in even the brightest students and make young children vomit or cry or both, knowing that there is one test you have no choice to pass just to start your life in college is just a nerve wracking. On March 14, 2002, Sacramento Bay reported that test-related jitters, especially among young students, are so common that the Stanford 9 exam comes with instructions on what to do with the test booklet in case a student vomits on it. I'm no expert in making a test, but if the test has instructions on what to do if you throw up on it, it's just disgusting. In schools, we are still very young. Our bodies are still growing and developing. The amount of stress we put them should be illegal. You're not a child forever, obviously. In grades kindergarten through fifth grade, you're supposed to make friends, live your life, and be a kid until reality slaps you in the face. NCLB's mandated begins in third grade, but schools test younger students so they will get used to taking tests. Test taking skills are one of the toughest skills to grasp. The reason why is because everyone says, go with your gut, but sometimes your gut feeling is sometimes wrong. Then the anxiety hits, and you get nervous, second guess yourself. Next thing you know, every answer could be right. At a young age, getting a bad grade on a test was devastating my personal and at home. I was raised to get good grades and if not, I got punished. One of the most important things to me to me as my parents son is to make them proud, to let them know that they raised me right. You made a good man. A three year study completed in October twenty ten by the Gazelle Institute of Human Development showed the increased emphasis on testing and making children feel like failures now early as pre K. This for me just hit hard because I got if I got bad grades, I know my parents were not going to be so happy about it. The feeling of failing a test is like no other. You feel worthless even. Being a good test taker does not make you ready for the real world. All through school, pre-K to college, we train our brains to retain information as a test taker and not to retain information just to know information. Schools these days love teaching us things we'll never use in the real world. What I mean is that they teach stuff specifically for the test and not the real world. China displayed failing at the top of the 2009 PISA ranking because as experienced by Ching Chang Quing, deputy principal of Peking University High School, Chinese schools are very good at preparing the students for standardized tests for the reason they fail to prepare them for higher education in the knowledge economy. These schools are so pressed about these tests they forget we will all grow up eventually, become adults, and probably forget all the things they've ever teach us. In conclusion, as a sophomore in college, I take every kind of test known to man. These have dramatically changed me, to the point where I don't even learn anymore. I stress to pass the test. In today's education, tests make you, with, tests make you without the test, you're just a person who tried the course. Standardized tests should be disbanded from the educational system because they are doing more harm and good in the future of America.